Hi everyone! My name is Jelly and for those new in my channel, I vlog about freelancing, business, and self-development. So, in this video, what I'm about to share with you is a website. And this website is highly recommended for new use because this website is for free and legit. And this can help you potentially earn 30 to 50k a month. And this website as well um, had helped me get paying clients. So, the website is what we call Online Jobs PH. And I will walk you through the following. First is how to set up your application. Second is relevant features of this website. And third, tips and tricks in applying using this website. Hi guys! So, andito tayo ngayon sa Online Jobs PH. So, ito lang yung itatype nyo, ilalagay nyo sa search bar. And then, andito na yung, da ito na yung dashboard ng Online Jobs PH. So, i-click nyo lang to, I'm a worker because you're applying for a job. And then, you fill in your name, your full name, your address, your email address, and then your password. And then, click nyo lang tayo mga Filipino because Online Jobs PH is a uh, website specialized for Filipino people who's looking for online jobs for with a work from home setup. So, ito, um, may isa. Sagutin nyo rin to kung si Juan ay anak ng aking lola at ang aking ama kapag at ama ng aking kapatid, kaano-ano ko si Juan. And then, you also have to click this. I did not have an account. And I click register. So, ayun, napakadali lang mag-register. Um, since may account na ako, ito na yung papakita, papakita ko sa inyo. So, ito yung pinakauna dito sa profile ko. Ang nakikita natin may link dito. So, itong link na to, kapag nakagawa na kayo ng online jobs PH account niya, profile niya, pwede niyo ito i-copy-paste, ilagay niyo siya sa, sa resume niyo so that your potential clients might be able to see your online jobs profile. Tapos nakikita din natin active or inactive. Kapag nag apply kayo, hit the active. Kapag hindi na, then inactive. Tapos ito, dito nakalagay yung um, uh, pangalan niyo and then yung ano yung a-applyan niyo or yung niche or field of, ex of expertise na meron kayo. Ito. Tapos, um, nakakita din natin dito yung ID proof. So, nakakita natin dito, um, yung, yung relevance ng ID proof is that um, may other, may mga job posting na nagre-require ng a certain number of ID proof. So, ito, nagpapatunay ito na itong tao na to the more mataas yung ID proof mo, the more uh, may credibility na totoong tao itong person, totoong tao itong applicant na to at legit, legit na tao siya. Okay, so we also have the verified badge. Later on, I'll also be sharing to you on how we can increase our ID proof. Um, so, may iba kasi yung mga ID proof nasa 65, nasa 75, so nasa average lang. But itong 99, mataas na to. Okay, so that is also your priority to be able to increase your ID proof. And um, your verified badge as well. So, nakikita din natin yung picture natin. Itong pinaka-importante rin because ito yung pinaka-unang unang nakikita ng ating mga potential clients. So, make sure your, your photo is presentable and um, na-express ng picture nyo na you have a PC personality and credible kayo. So, ayan. Nakikita natin um, as well as yung salary, um, desired salary nyo, yung education, education background nyo. And then, um, ito yung pinaka-unang dapat natin i-set up is ang ating um, application for online jobs PH. So, you guys have verification. So, sa verification, ito yung mga documents na kailangan natin i-set up, i-prepare para ma-approve ang ating application sa online jobs PH. So, we have government ID, um, nakalagay required. We have um, billing address optional and mobile number verification optional. So, kanina na-mention ko na mga tip na para ma-increase ng ID proof natin is ang um, kailangan mo i-set up itong, itong document na to. Okay? So, una tayo dito sa government ID. So, any government ID will do um, you have to take a picture front and back as well as a selfie of you holding your government ID na naka, malapit siya sa face. And make sure that the, the information in your government ID is matched with the information na nasa profile mo. Okay? Second is billing address. So, it doesn't necessarily have to, um, yung complete name mo na same sa billing address mo. It's okay as long as um, same yung apelido. So, pwede ito mga electric bill, ganyan. So, and ito. Lastly, is a mobile number verification. So, isa pa lang kung tatlong to, then you're good to go. Um, we, you will have at least like three days to the notify yung online jobs PH na approve na yung application mo. Then, let's go back to profile. We also have here, down below, um, test scores. So, ito yung mga test na dapat mong i-take. We have the DISC, the IQ, and the English test. So, kung saan mo ma-access ma yung um, test na yan, nandito sa baba. Haven't taken the test? So, click lang, learn how to take it. And so, kapag na-take mo na itong test na to, itong itong test na to, uh, make sure to screenshot the result and upload it here. Okay? And another way to optimize your your ID proof as well para mag-increase your ID proof mo is ito. Click here. So, reconnect your um, your online jobs PH account to your Facebook account. 
So guys, dito rin sa edit profile, kung i-click nyo yan, i-edit nyo yung, um, yung age nyo, yung address nyo, and as well as uh, parang summary of your skills. So dyan yung ilalagay in a paragraph form kung ano yung mga skill na ma-offer mo, services na ma-offer mo sa mga potential clients mo. So, ayan guys, kapag na-approve na yung online jobs PH mo, pwede na tayong maghanap ng mga job opportunities or job posting. So, i-click lang natin tong job board. Ayan. And makikita natin ngayon yung mga job posting, job opportunities na pwede nyo applyan. So, dito sa baba, latest job post. Ito yung mga latest na mga job post na available. Ayan. Pero kapag naghahanap kayo ng specific na, ano, na work, kanwari, um, social media manager. Social Media Manager. Ayan. Um, nakalagay dito na mga, ito na yung mga job posting na nakikita natin available. So, ito, um, starting at 40,000 per month. Tapos, ganun din dito sa baba, 40,000 per month din. Uh, may mga ibang offer na negotiable. So, kapag may interested, may, inter may interested kayo na job posting, pwede nyo lang easy more. So, ito, nakikita natin ngayon ang mas detailed na um, information about your job. So, nakalagay dito, ito yung mga um, uh, primary responsibilities, then mga requirements, Ayan. and then um, certain things about uh, the company, nalagay din dito. Tapos ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na ID proof. So, ang makakapag-apply dito is yung mga ID proof na sa 7P. So, kung gusto nyo ito siyang applyan, click nyo lang itong apply for this job. Ayan. Tapos lalagay nyo lang dito sa subject, application for uh, um, virtual assistant, uh, for social manager, social media manager. Social media manager. Tapos, uh, make sure na mag-prepare kayo ng... Um, template, um, and kahit template siya, i-frame niya siya as like personal um, sa job, according sa job posting. So, mababasa kasi ng mga client kung masyadong temp yung parang template, paulit-ulit na lang na sinesend mass application. So, much better na i-frame niya siya according to the job posting na applyan niyo. Okay. Tapos dito sa baba, yan yung mga contact information niyo. Yan. So, pwede nyo ilagay dito like a warm message like, Hi, my name is Jelly. Um, I'm interested with your job posting. I think, I uh, I believe that I'm qualified for the job. Here are my um, top skills. Yan, ganyan. Tapos dito nyo, um, uh, send email. Yan. So, nakalagay dito, um, yung email na isa-send nyo, ano siya? Um, you have to um, upload your resume to a Dropbox link, Dropbox link and then yung link ng to a Dropbox, and then yung link ng Dropbox, Dropbox na yun, ng resume mo, yun yung i-paste mo dito. Ayan, katulad nito. Ayan, para ma-access siya ng client. Tapos, nakakita natin, nakakita natin dito sa pinakapaba, um, number of applications sent today. So, sa online jobs PH, at least in one day, you can submit up to 10 applications. Ayan. So, kapag naka-apply na kayo dito, um, just click send email, and then you can go back to job board. And then, um, explore nyo lang yung mga ibang mga um, yung mga ibang available na mga jobs. So, yun lang. Tapos, um, punta tayo ulit dito sa profile ko. Makikita niya dito sa baba. Um, this one. Punta tayo sa profile. Check natin ha. Yan. So, ito yung dito sa um, left side. Ito yung mga, yung mga messages na kapag i-reach um, out na yung mga potential clients nyo, so for interview, ganyan. Tapos dito din sa right side, ito yung mga um, bookmark jobs. So, ayan lang. Tapos, um, example, um, na-hire na kayo, um, and a way for you to track your time, kung yung client nyo gusto may time tracker kayo, may yung online jobs PH, may time proof tracker sila. Ito. So, um, you just have to click this one and then, yan, pwede nyo na siyang gamitin as time proof or time tracker nyo para matrack nyo yung hours ng pagtatrabaho nyo. So, that's it! So, let's get into it. tips and tricks in applying. The first tip is to recognize and avoid job scams. So, it is okay to be skeptical and it is a must to trust your instinct. Do not send money for whatever reason, it's likely a scam. For example, they would um, require you for a shipping fee because they would want to send you gadgets for work. 
Another thing is avoid giving them your personal information such as your credit card information, um, driver's license or SSS and other um, personal details that is not relevant to your job. Salary details are not clear and we have the so-called free work. So this free work is more common and this is what I had actually experienced. So this is part of the initial hiring process where you answer personality tests, IQ tests, and other tasks that is um, related to the job that you're applying for your clients to be able to assess the skills that you have. But we have to be cautious and careful because there are other clients who are disguising this free work to free work. So in other words, um, pagtatrabahuin ka ng kahaba-habang task but then in the end, hindi ka babayaran. Yung iba demanding pa, sasabihin na you have to submit within this time. And so, pagka-submit ko, wala man lang pa-thank you. So, in other words, no, um, that may be considered a scam. So, we have to really be careful and trust our instinct. Next tip is know your worth. So, assess yourself, assess your skills, your work ethics, and your efforts in upscaling yourself. It doesn't mean that you're a newbie, you're not eligible for a reasonable rate or even a premium rate. For example, in my case, I always make sure to package myself as someone valuable. So, I always highlight in my resumes and interviews that, yes, I'm a newbie, but then I didn't come empty-handed. Uh, my goal is to be able to provide good quality service for my clients, and so um, I took the initiative and I invested with a masterclass course and in Udemy courses for me to be able to gain um, the knowledge, the skills, and to be able to excel in this field. And I know that I will be successful in this field. So in your interviews, you will meet different clients. So there are clients who appreciate you um, being a newbie and uh, you know your initiative and investing in a course, but there are others who don't. And so focus yourself on those clients that can appreciate you. And don't give up because there are lots of clients who does appreciate you. Our third and last tip is set your goals. So we have two types of applicants, active applicants and passive applicants. So your success rate will determine of what to choose, what type of applicant you want to be. So for example, a passive applicant is mag apply ka today, mag apply ka bukas. If wala kang marunig na response from your potential clients, then you'll stop. And mag apply ka na naman kung kailan mo lang feel. But on the other hand, um, active applicant is more on consistency is the key. The more um, job applications you send, um, for example, in one day you have to submit 10 job applications or at least 5 job applications but consistent, no, and then you will have um, higher success rate. That's it guys, so let's have a quick summary. So we have talked about Online Jobs PH and its application process and other relevant features of that website as well as some tips and tricks for your application process. And um, I hope you find value in this video and please leave a comment down below of suggestions, recommendations, of, or other topics that you want me to create. And so this has been your virtual assistant Tita Jelly and my mission is to be able to help you in your freelancing journey and please hit like and subscribe so that this video can reach our other kababayans. So I hope you have a good day and good life. So thank you. Bye-bye.